Alright, so about to check out some more item right now. We're gonna check out the video they dropped called the Case File G uh, for Revenge. So obviously we had the MV for Revenge, which was a full-on murder. There was a lot of explanations for it. People making connections to like Sujin and stuff like that. Um, but now we got a full-on Case File, which I can only think that this is like going through like, oh, I guess maybe the evidence or the stuff that actually truly happened, right? Um, so I'm very interested in getting to this. I have not seen anything. I just known that it dropped and I was trying to get through all the stuff from stuff today So I can finally get to this and now we're here. So let's check out what it's all about. I idol revenge We don't need other stuff there last Easter night case file oh, gee. There's gonna be a lot of pausing here by the way um, An arson incident occurred where one person was killed and one person survived. The incident record investigator Shuwa. Investigator S. Suspect. Suspect something something celebrity. Huh. First person to report it to the police was celebrity M. But she is now being investigated as a suspect. Oh, the first person reported to the police was celebrity M. Minnie. Oh, it has Minnie's name. Oh, so Minnie reported, but then she had suspected as uh thing as a suspect. Who are the suspect? Something's blurred out. I'm a suspect of suspected murder. Maybe it's because of her fame and living right upstairs of the victim. People are explaining it to me in the comments too, obviously. Her psychiatrist, Dr. M. So Mia was a psychiatrist. Has concluded that she found no allegations against Celebrity M. <laughs> You know how much like the Sujin thing this feels, bro? Which is like, I always say like, I don't want to relate everything. Obviously, it was very direct at the uh, throughout the, um, uh, the MV having literally her birthday there. Um, which is what people caught on to. And some people were letting me know that it was there. I actually, if you don't know, I added it to the end of the video. This is why you make it through reactions, you know? I know my reactions can drag because I talk a lot and I pause a lot, but... Sometimes I do catch things and I told y'all this this kind of release like with the, the type of MB that revenge was Piques my interest so right after I finished recording I went to Twitter and I started like looking up things about it And I saw people making the connections with like Sujin um, with like Shu Hua the way she was removing that uh, The wrap around her face um, And quite literally Sujin's birthday listed among the birthdays and the dates that were on that newspaper. I think This is so interesting, dude and it's crazy because I tweeted over the weekend that I don't really make it seem like Sujin can like return because they seem feel like they reference a missing member more than anyone I've ever seen. You know? Especially under the circumstances of which that member is no longer a part of the group, which are pretty serious, right? Um, even though the accusations kind of went nowhere and she's like, it feels like she's not in the group for no reason almost right hopefully you understand what i mean by saying for no reason because like she should still be there is what i mean because all that shit happened and it was all like she's not in the group for the protection of images um decision clearly made by company blue box <sighs> the shit box the shit box this is that shot in the hallway. It is not a coincidence that Dr. M, which is Mian, also lives in the same building as the victim. I'm tying everything together. The 
Matches and pen. Where's the clue? Building manager S. Soyan, who's the building manager, I'm guessing. Who is secretly monitoring the area around the room where the incident took place last night. Everybody, all of them live in the same building. One manages the building. All work together. <laughs> She knows everything that happened in the building, but she said that she was away only that day. Musician Y, who lives next door to the victim. She has not been coming out of her place since the incident has occurred. Missing clue, Natchez and Pen. No one could hear the loud guitar sound for a while. One person then is covered and says the matches and pen assume to be important evidence of the arson and murder. Interesting, the pen. The pen, I, I want to say something. Because obviously I told you that this, like, now with them including Sujin's date, in there makes you feel like it's intentional for it to make you to remind you of the situation so i wonder if the pen's supposed to represent the shit that people write like articles that people write you know like here it was obviously used as a murder weapon by i'm pretty sure it was me and right me and when the person was waking up after they got hit in the head with the guitar me and stabbed them with the pen right but one of the pens supposed to be representative of the articles people write because i'm pretty sure it was a similar thing in was it Maria, my Hwasa, where like the things that started poking to attack her were like pens? What, am I tripping? Where am I remembering that from? I'm pretty sure it was Maria, my Hwasa. Um, and it was also like a reference to like articles and what people like to write and say and how it takes so much like, it controls a lot of people's like way of thinking about certain things. So I wonder if that's a thing here. Like that's what the pen's supposed to represent. No, the matches and pen are supposed to be important evidence. <laughs> long observation I was able to find some clues agents will be easily observe and watch others without directly face to face the broken guitar the missing matches the bloody pen and the perfectly clean scene of the incident the small and pretty minds that could have saved her from a long the long neglected violence see and also people are talking about the, the domestic violence case right um, which obviously you also see that as the quite obvious thing being portrayed in the MV um, but they make you think of the Sujin situation with including her birthday and I feel like that's intentional while also making it look making it um like a revenge in a domestic violence case as well, you know? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like you yeah, understand. Maybe I'm not putting it, articulating it correctly, but I feel like you understand what I'm saying. Saved her from the long neglected violence. Oh, I only found the truth in the case. I only found the truth in the case. There's six people in that fucking picture, bro. See, there's six people in the picture. This is very intentional, bro. I love Idol for this, bro. And could we be crazy? Maybe, but I don't think we are. I think this is very deliberate from them, dude. This is very deliberate. And this is what I mean when I say that they make it seem like it's very possible for Sujin to rejoin this group, man. It won't happen. I feel like as long as they're in queue. It will not happen as long as they're in cube, which is why I am a firm believer that they are just as good as gone next year. Like, they might as well leave now, you know? They have a thing where they control everything, and which is why I think they do shit like this. They control what they put out, what we consume as fans, what people see so that no one else can see any, like... Oh, I love, I love everything about Idol, bro. I love everything because what I'm trying to say is like... We know, and I've kept mentioning it throughout, mentioning it throughout what we've 
seen, everything that we've seen, that I don't have that whole team that works with them specifically, right? And that means that everything that they put out is their touch. It goes through them. Um, it's idol approved. And it's kind of like Soyeon is already like CEO of anything idol, right? Kind of like. It, she is. Um, but it all goes through them. And I feel like this message is very deliberate because it, it's. Unless I can't count. <laughs> there are six people in this image. And. I don't know, man. I think that we can see the faces of everybody except one of them that's covered. Oh, that's so... It's not like... like I, don't, I don't feel like it's... Gonna, like It doesn't feel like it's about to make me cry. It's just like you feel like... Because of the connection you have with the group, because of the connection you have, obviously, with Sujin, and I've made videos talking about Sujin, Sujin's situation... Um, I've been very vocal out there about it. Um, proud OT6 forever, OT6, and supporting all of them and no matter what they pursue, what they do. Um, but you can't help but feel watching this, consuming stuff like this. I don't really make it feel like it's not as. Because I mentioned on Twitter, it could be just them letting us know, yo, we don't forget about our girl, right? Remember, Idol is six, right? This could just be that. Could just be that idol will forever be six, even though even if they do not end up being six on stage again, right? I just want you to remember that. It could just us being like this. The sixth person in this picture might not be that, but I feel like it's very intentional. It feels like it's very intentional, um, and I don't know. I, I said it's not delusion to feel like Sujin could come back, and it's mainly because of shit like this. Um, but. I don't know, man. I, I just really like that they do stuff like this. Because regardless, it makes your mind think. I love that. And it makes me hopeful. <laughs> it makes me hopeful. I finally found the two three keys. But I just shut my records. Mm, finally found the truth. But I shut my records and not gonna put out the truth. I have decided to become the last accomplice. Now I can see you watching inside the cramped hole with ease. Also, case file G, G, idol, is the case file on idol. So it's about, it is about idol, you know. Oh my God. It all feels so deliberate. It all feels so deliberate and so... Like this, it is, it's supposed to make us think the way I'm thinking, I think. And maybe that's just a bit me being too main character. <laughs> I'm like, what I'm thinking is right, you know? It's about Sujin and nothing else. Um, but I don't know, I get that feeling and I feel like anybody else who would have been classified as delusional up until these videos dropped feels the same way. Like, hey, yo, we're not as crazy as people thought we were, you know? This seems very deliberate and I love them for it, dude. A cube can't do shit about it. <laughs> cube can't do shit about it, why? Because they need to get as much money out of Ida before they leave as they can. And they've seen that letting suit, uh, letting uh, Soyeon and the girls just take control of shit has just worked these past three comebacks, right? So they just have to let it go. And what goes out there goes out there. Even if it makes Cube look really bad. Because this doesn't make them look good. Really, if you think about it. But let's think about it. The building that was happening in is, uh, let's just think about it as Cube, right?
It's like people like kept like writing about this, that, the other, but nothing was ever found to back any of those things up. You know, like anything that was meant to be admitted to was admitted to, but it wasn't anything that was the hard, horrible accusations that were against her. You know, and obviously I'm talking about Sujin's case. Oh boy, oh boy. I've said all I need to say as I was watching, obviously, but I just love that I don't do things like this. Um, and like I said, it feels very, very intentional. Like it was very deliberate for us to think about it the way I'm mentioning it, the way I'm saying it. Um, could there be better ways of explaining the things that they're showing? Yeah. Could there be more non-directly idol-related explanations for everything? Yeah. But I feel like it's very intentional. Showing six girls at the end. You know, at the very end. They could have shown that at any point. But they wanted to make sure that that's the last image you saw. And then they just showed blank. A black screen with text on it. Um, including Sujin's birthday and the MV as well. Um, I don't know, man. I love Idol. I love Idol. I love that they did this. And I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Uh, as I said on Twitter, some people go out and they start asking members certain things in fan calls. I don't think, personally, I don't think it's something you should bring up to them when you, like, maybe interact with them in fan calls and stuff like that. But, like, for sure, don't do that. Um, anything about this, you could, like, maybe express how much you like the story being told. That you feel like you can relate to it. Like, just be general about it. You know, if it's not personal relations and you're kind of referencing what you relate to it. But never, like, bring up directly the whole, oh, well, Sujin return when you guys leave Cube, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's just wild and you don't want to put them in that situation either. Um, but it's nice for us knowing that regardless to the, let's just say, to be the least bit delusional, they're showing us how much they still love their girl. Um, and whether she returns or not, we have these these bits floating around. We know they can't really directly interact with each other. Um, well, they can, but they probably won't, you know? Actually, who knows if they actually can? I, 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 I want to say they can't. Um, but I can't wait till I don't inevitably leave next year. I can't wait till I don't inevitably leave next year and... Like I said, hopeful me, wishful thinking me, hopes that it ends the way that the perfect fairy tale, bro. That she comes back, um, and if she doesn't, like I said, it's all right. We got these bits and pieces. We got the memories with her as a part of the group, and she will forever be a member of Idol, whether she's there physically or not. Um, this was great, bro. I love that. I love that, bro. And like I said, this is this is a video for the, the Lulus like me. <laughs> But we're not so the Lulu now, are we? Come, you can't.